Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I am uh, work on the lighting here. We are in Minnesota and it is a rainy, weird, cold August. So I, I'm, I'm having trouble. I've got a lot of lights on. Also, as you can tell, I have a crazy summer head cold. So bear with me. Um, I will uh, do my best to get through this. Hopefully not cough or anything. So. Today, I want to talk about mascara, and I, um, <clears throat> why do I, why am I so excited to have found some non-toxic mascara? Well, I have been doing research for the last almost decade, and way before I became a blogger, um, finding natural products that didn't have harmful chemicals in them, and one of the hardest things to find was mascara uh, because they there was a lot out there that are natural but they don't work they I would find they'd be smudged under here or it'd be really flaky or they'd be really hard to get off so I just found myself um, using the mascara with harmful chemicals and because I have really light eyelashes right now I, I have eyeliner on so it's hard to tell but I look I feel really, really naked without mascara, so it's something that I use every day. So for something that I use every day, I really <clears throat> want it to be clean. <clears throat> I teach a course called Six Easy Weeks to Clean Living, and I walk you through every aspect of your home and your life and help you detox. Um, and one of my tips is to start simple start with stuff that you use every day this isn't overhaul your whole house overwhelming um, start with things you use every day and mascara is something i use every single day um, so if someone said here's this mascara you're gonna look beautiful but it's gonna have some preservatives in there that could disrupt your hormones throw you off balance it's gonna have some formaldehyde or formaldehyde re releasing ingredients in there that are known to con cause cancer. Um, it's going to have some coal tar dye that could cause cancer or asthma um, and some parabens to preserve it that are endocr endocrine disruptors. So that's going to mess with your hormones. Would you buy it? Um, even if it came in a pretty box and said, but you're going to look beautiful, but this could cause cancer. This is going to, this could be neurotoxic and affect your brain. <clears throat> no, you wouldn't buy it. But these companies put these pretty labels on their boxes and <clears throat> they show these beautiful women using their products. It's going to make you look so beautiful, but they're hiding some dirty little secrets. And the beauty industry has a long way to go to get regulated and so we actually know what's in these products until then we need to be our own beauty detectives so that's why i'm here to help you shorten your journey and help you do a little of the detective work for you so you don't have to spend all your time and money on um, like i did i have spent a lot of time and money trying to find different mascaras so i finally found three that i love and um <clears throat> two different brands. I know this shows up backwards for you guys. I'm sorry. When I get a new phone, I'll fix that. <clears throat> well People and Beauty Counter are the two brands that I have been in love with. I've been using the Well People one for about a month, and the Beauty Counter, they just came out with these. So I've only been using these about a week, but super happy. They did have a previ previous formula of their lengthening mascara, and I did not love it at all. It was really hard to get off and it would um, end up smearing under my eye. So I was a little skeptical when I heard they were, um, had, a new, had some new ones coming out, but love. Um, so let's get into it. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each of them, then I'll put them on and show you. This um, lengthening beauty counter one is 0.2 ounce, just to let you know there is a little difference in how much you get. Um, the Well People is 0.3 ounce, and the Volumizing Beauty Counter is 0.4 ounce. Um, the price, these two is $29. Um, the Well People is about $23 on Amazon. 
And I will put a link underneath the video to all the different things I talk about after this. But just so you know, you are getting different amounts. And one of the, another of the biggest differences in mascaras, I found out in my research that a lot of times companies have the same formula, but what they change is the brush and the swiper, the little thing inside that takes the mascara off. And it, that helps, that determines how much mascara gets on your wand. So, and then the brush changes the application a lot. So even though the formulas may be the same, there's a lot to do in the science of the brush and the, and the swiper daily. So, all right, I'm gonna show you this Well People one. I'm gonna say that this one for me has been a great everyday one. I don't know how well you can see that. Sorry, this lighting in here. Um, but it's kind of a skinny, narrow. Um, this one, and I have a mirror right here. I'm gonna to try to put it on and then let you see. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. First, I always do my eyelash curler, because this helps your, I do this at the base, just helps your eyelashes curl up and you can see them more. Um, and then I do a little curl at the tip, and then that's it. So a little curl at the base, kind of wiggle, squeeze, curl at the tip, and that's it. <clears throat> okay, so back to this Well People one. And I always get black, even though I'm a redhead, um, I like my eyes to stand out and I just always get black. So this one, like I was saying, is a great for everyday one for me. It is, this brush is great at separating. There's no clumps at all, but you can't really, some of the mascaras you can put on a couple coats and get it thicker. This one, it doesn't work out that it doesn't do that. Also, this is a really good brush for getting my lower lashes. It's just thin, fine, so I don't have any clumping. Of course I got some on my face, myself. I don't have any clumping, and you can see my eyelashes. That one is, like I said, I've been using for a month, and I love, I'll show you a minute, in a minute or two, let it dry a little bit, and I'll show you how easy it is to take off. Now I'm gonna, <coughs> sorry. <clears throat> show you the beauty counter volumizing mascara so if you see this one see how this one it goes in in the middle um, and there's just more on the brush this one is thicker this volumizing one I would say would be my go-to for going out or for pictures or um, something like that where you really want your eyelashes to stand out and this one takes a little time to I gotta keep going back and forth and like okay let's get going Get on there, this one takes a little longer. <clears throat> and also, the shape of the brush makes it really difficult to get those bottom lashes. I hope you can see this pretty well in there. So, I mean, you could kind of go like this, but it's kind of difficult. So I would use one of the other mascaras to um, get my bottom lashes, it's just easier. So this one, as you can see, so far they look about the same. I gotta, this one you gotta build up. So what I would do, I would do one eye and then I would, you know, I would go do the other eye, let it dry a little bit and then I would come back and I would add a little more. So what I loved about this one was for the just making my eyes really pop, or if I was going out or um, had family pictures recently, this one helps really volumize, as it says, makes them thicker, just stand out, and really, I won't make you sit here and watch me do it, but I could put on layer, layer, and um, I love that one for that. <clears throat> the third one, which obviously I can't show you, um, is or I can't put it on, but I'll show you the brush. It's similar to the Well People. It's maybe even skinnier. Um, this one is lengthening. And this one I found looks, it's similar to the Well People one. When I put it on, 
my my eyelashes are they're easy easily separated um and but the only thing about this one that the actually i can do this on my lowers a little bit i don't know if you can see but the only thing about this one that the well people seemed thinner and i couldn't layer it on this one you can so this one works great on the lower lashes but then if i wanted to keep adding on and this one's maybe even a little darker than the well people so i have been having fun that i'm getting to use all three and i was thinking what if someone asked me if i could only pick one which one would i pick well that's tricky so i love this one for like i said going out pictures something like that where you want more definition but it's not great for every day um the well people one i love it's been super easy to get off and you get a little more than this one but this volume or this lengthening one you can um, put on more if needed so i would say if i could only pick one maybe the beauty counter lengthening just a touch over this one but honestly you can't go wrong with any of these i have loved them so i'm going to show you how i take them off two things two different things that i use one is just almond oil and i put the almond oil on a cotton ball or a cotton pad and um, i'm gonna very gently i kind of close my eyes a little bit and i don't rub super hard because i don't want to get a bunch of wrinkles or that kind of whatever it'll take a little time but it's not super difficult i am not rubbing hard as you can see it's already coming off pretty well um, just gentle back and forth a little bit and um, then what I'm going to do I mean I'm taking this off at night right then I'm going to wash <laughs> that's cute I'm going to wash my face with my cleanser and water and then you can see that's it that was easy the other thing that I do I'll show you another one is this my shell quick clean micellar water so what i like about this um that's it's easy quick i just do a couple pumps on a cotton ball again and this one isn't oily but it does have some extracts in there so purifying cleansing water gently lifts dirt oil and makeup in a single step so you could use this on your whole face um, extracts and nourishing botanicals help hydrate soften and refresh all skin types so it's basically uh, there's water but there's a lot of extracts or some witch hazel um, and stuff in there I just like it's easy pump pump go and then you don't have the oil again I kind of really really gentle and you can see it's coming out pretty easily I'll turn it over and gentle gentle and um, and then again I wash my face and that's it so um, mostly it um, I was beyond excited because like I said the other ones I have tried have been extremely difficult to get off like even scrubbing hard i couldn't get them off and i'd have to wait till the next day and get some and use a little more scrubbing power or uh, they smudged or whatever so i'm super excited there's finally some mascara that isn't going to affect our hormones or cause cancer it's good for us and um and it works because that's what's really important to me is that it has to be good for me and it has to work so um a couple quick things and if you have any questions please type them in or please type them underneath the video I'll just post this to my page after um, and then I can answer them there um, one is to get on my email list to hear if you want to hear more about my program six easy weeks to clean living I had some testers go through it this summer and give me some amazing feedback I'm adding tons of more recipes and tips and different different sections that people recommended and I can't wait to launch that and that's going to be this fall sometime so go to RebeccaLavander.com sign up for my email list 
to be the first one to hear about that. And then also, currently I am doing a giveaway in honor of finally finding some mascaras that work. I am doing a gift card, a beauty counter gift card giveaway. So the link I will put underneath this video when I post it, the link go to rebeccalavander.com slash beauty counter giveaway and enter there. It goes through next Wednesday, which is I think the 30th. So you have some days to enter, share it with your friends. Um, so you can try out the mascara for free. And I think that's it. Um, hi Nicolette, thanks for joining. And um, if nobody has any questions, again, I will put links to all these things I talked about under the video. And um, I am gonna go put my mascara back on now so I can go out in public. But thanks so much guys for watch watching and I hope that I'm helping you here with these tips.